riding a bike ever since I was a kid. The island is actually pretty large. I think it's 3.5 or 4 kilometers from one side to the other. So I think these bicycles really help. I No brakes. <laughs> now one of the latest additions to the Ace Pro is that you can now turn the HDR on or off as you please so we don't have that active HDR anymore. You have the option to turn that on or off and personally I think I prefer to have HDR off. So what you're seeing now is the HDR off and let's switch to HDR on. And now we have the active HDR on. Which one do you prefer on or off? Let me know in the comments below. Another thing I really like with Ace Pro though is the massive, huge flip out screen. I believe this is 2.4 inches, uh, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments below, but this makes it so easy to frame myself uh, and see all the settings and everything on the screen basically. The only downside though is that I'm wearing polarized sunglasses right now, which means that what I'm seeing on the screen is completely black because polarized sunglasses with the screen does not work. So the only way for me to actually see the screen right now is to tilt the camera to either side Side or to just look above my sunglasses so if you wear a lot of polarized sunglasses this is a huge con and I really hope this is being improved on the next model of Ace Pro but regardless of you know using polarized sunglasses I think the Ace Pro is a fantastic travel camera and when it comes to features with Ace Pro we have that 8K sensor which allows us to take advantage of a clarity zoom which is a 2 times zoom in 4K resolution and this is something I've never used as much as I have here in the Maldives. I mean this is one amazing underrated feature. Now when it comes to using the Ace Pro in the water, I'm actually pretty impressed with the quality. Here I also use uh, auto white balance because I think, the, I think the Ace Pro does a really good job with its auto white balance. So let's go for a snorkel here, let's see what we find. I'm going to use 4K 30fps, so let's drop in the drink. Now when it comes to low light videos, I think the Ace Pro performs pretty good for an action camera. It's not the best low light footage, but it's definitely better than the GoPro 12 and the Action 4 out of the box. Okay. Nej, men bara hopp. 
Now the Ace Pro does also have other features like loop record, a cancel record, star lapse, voice command, gesture control and more. But in reality, I haven't used any of these features. When I travel with the camera, the main criteria I have is stability, image quality, battery life, overheating and the picture profiles. These are the things I value the most when it comes to these action cameras and the Ace Pro scores pretty high on all areas. When it comes to battery life, I only have to charge this once per day. But well, yeah, we were on a tiny island, so there's only so much you can film, right? So I spent most of my time on the water with the fish. So when it comes to traveling with the Ace Pro, I mean, this is the first proper travel I've done since the release. And it's been like the worst winter and it's still going on with snow every other day. So I haven't really been able to test this properly until now. But man, that clarity zoom changes everything. Although I had to add some extra stabilization in post to make it smoother, I still think that clarity zoom is one of the best travel features in my opinion. Clarity zoom, I'm using that right now. And I think this just looks so amazing. It's such high quality and you're able to zoom into a two times zoom in 4K without losing quality. However, for vlogging, it's probably not the best. <laughs> and the good thing is that you can just double tap the screen and you're back to the wide angle. So this is how we spend at least 50% of our time in movies. tiny boutique to see if they had any SPF or sunscreen 30 SPF 30 and yes they did but man the price wow $45 minimum depending on which of the, the, the different sunscreens you needed so SPF 30 $45 that's crazy you can get three bottles of that at home oh man I'm gonna get burned She's already burnt. <laughs> Forty-five dollars. Dinner time. Dinner time. So if you ever want to come to Yabakara and you decide to stay in one of the water villas, I would recommend staying in the one closest to land on the left side because that one is so close to this amazing coral reef. There's barely any coral reefs around here actually, there's a lot of grass so when you look from the top down image of uh, some drone footage, everything you see is just grass. But here we have this amazing reef, there's so many different fish there, there's sharks, turtles and stingrays and these baby manta rays as well. I'm actually going to head out to the same reef now. And I'm only going to use the clarity zoom on the Ace Pro so you can see how amazing this looks. So let's head out to the reef and let's see if we can find some sharks, stingrays and maybe a turtle.
yeah, there you have my five months later a long-term review of the Ace Pro. Is it worth buying this as your one and only travel camera? Definitely. I would say this is one of the best travel cameras I've used. So I hope you enjoyed these tropical clips from the Maldives and if you want to visit Yavacara which was the island we stayed at, there is a link down below with 50% off throughout 2024. And on your way down there make sure to hit that subscribe button because I have some really epic videos coming up which I can't wait to show you. So until next time, thanks for watching, take care, bye bye.